In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Cogent Data Hub to push OPC UA and OPC DA data to the Azure IoT Hub. The Azure IoT Hub is an MQTT broker and we will use the Data Hub's MQTT client feature to push data to the Azure IoT Hub. The first thing we need to do before configuring the connection to the Azure IoT Hub is to configure our connections to our OPC UA and DA servers. I'm going to go to the OPC UA section. You can see here I have a connection to my OPC UA server. I'm connecting to a local OPC UA server on port 49380. I'm using an update rate of one second and I'm subscribing to the tags and I'm putting them into a group called OPC UA. You can see here my connection to my UA server is running. Similarly, I have a connection to an OPC DA server here, which is also running. It's connected to the top server at a one second scan, and I've loaded a few different items from my OPC server. If we click OK, and we look at the view data, we can look at the tags, and before you configure a connection to your Azure IoT Hub, you want to make sure that the Data Hub has good quality data for any tags you're pushing. We can see here, this is my OPC DA connection. It has good data, and we just saw the OPC UA connection also has good data. Now we should go to the MQTT client section and we can configure the connection to the Azure IoT Hub. Before we connect to the Azure IoT Hub, we do need to download the Azure Device Explorer. This link here is available both in the help file and I'll put it in the description of the video. The piece you want to download is the Setup for the Device Explorer. Now I've already downloaded it, so let me open up my Device Explorer. There's a few pieces of information we're going to need from the Device Explorer to set up our connection. So let's open up our MQTT client and we're going to add a connection and we're going to add it to the Azure. The first thing we need to do is specify the IoT Hub name. This is the Event Hub from the Data tab of the Device Explorer. We're going to copy this. We'll paste it in here. As you can see, the device that I'm going to be connecting to, I called it Test Device. Now, once you've specified the IoT Hub name and the device name, you just click Reconfigure. It does say we need to generate a password and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Let's call this Azure Video. And then on the authentication side, you can see we have our client ID, our username, but we don't have a password yet. The password can be found by going to the configuration section and generating an SAS. In this case, this shared access signature is good for one year. I'm going to copy this and I'll paste it directly into the password section. Now I need to choose what tags I'd like to push to my Azure IoT Hub. So let me go into my OPC UA section and I'm going to publish these five tags. Then I'm going to go to my OPC DA section and I'm going to publish a few of these tags as well. So you can see we have tags both from the OPC UA and the OPC DA section. If we click OK, we can minimize the device manager and click Apply. Our status is connecting and our status is now running. If we open up the device manager again, go to Data and Monitor, we can see we are pushing data to the Azure IoT Hub. That's all there is to it to get, make a connection between OPC DA or OPC UA to the Azure IoT Hub. In fact, you can push any data that the Data Hub supports to the Azure IoT Hub. It's not limited to just OPC data. Once the data is in the Hub, you can use all the analytic capabilities available in the Azure IoT Hub. In this video, I showed you how to connect to OPC UA and DA servers, and then how to download the Device Explorer for Azure IoT Hub in order to generate the password needed to set up the Data Hub to act as an MQTT client to the Azure IoT Hub. 